Hello and what is going on today guys? Tomcat here. I have coffee today. And now we're going to be jumping right into this new map. So make sure y'all sit down and take some time and get into the video and enjoy it. So with that being said, here's what we're going to be jumping into today. We have a new map called HWC Bushwhacking. Now it's a trailing map, obviously. I don't know what this like really it looks like a really dense cropping of trees over here I don't know what that's all about but it's pretty small in comparison to some of the big big maps but by the look at the screenshots it looks very very interesting and uh, very realism based so I brought along a good variety of vehicles here we have frogs uh, work in progress third gen forerunner we have the Willie's prom queen which you guys have seen uh, probably you saw it a while back in a video with surge and zip tie and we have Terminators LJ build, uh, this is the pullout LJ build, so obviously we have, like, mild, medium-ish, and, you know, uh, insane, um, like, basically, mild, medium, and lots of, lots of checks have been written, so, with all that being said, we're gonna begin in the prom queen willies, actually, and, well, uh, 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 I don't, mm, I don't know, uh, actually, we're gonna begin in the Forerunner, because I like the Forerunner. I'm gonna go ahead and refill it, and we're gonna go ahead and set off after we do... Let's throw the custom front bumper on it. Ooh, wow, that's a that's a big boy front bumper. Uh, let's do the sliders, and the roof rack, and the snorkel, because we might as well refill... Oh, we're in the garage. We gotta leave the garage before we can... Before we can refill it using the dev menu. But, this is my first time here, and I wanted to give you guys my completely unbiased opinion and first impressions on what this map is like. Now, you have three different options on where you can go uh, off the start line. You have that trail, that trail, and then the one on the far right. I'm looking at the map here, and it's so densely populated that I'm not even sure which trail is which, so, or which trail goes where. So what we're going to do is we have three rigs, three trails. We're going to set off and see where they all go. So we're going to take the Forerunner down the far left side trail and see what we can get ourselves into. If we get ourselves into trouble, so be it. If we get ourselves into, uh, into some fun, so be that. All right. Now, right off the bat. Ooh, oh, this is some sharp turns. I wasn't expecting it to be that sharp. I had to back up a little bit. Now, this definitely strikes me as, you know, realistic trailing right off the bat because you're not dealing with anything that's, like, crazy out there, um, you know, or, like, almost, not even crazy out there, but you're not dealing with, like, you know, crazy, insane crawling right off the bat. You're more dealing with something that you feel like you could find, you know, in, in your own backyard, in your own four-wheeling backyard. Now, not necessarily the backyard of your own house, but the backyard of your area where you go wheeling. Because this reminds me a lot of the trails in sort of that, you know, North Georgia, kind of like North Georgia, Eastern Tennessee area. Oh, we're getting into some rocks now. And that is one other, like, interesting side note, but I would love to wheel, uh, to wheel at Windrock. Even, even to ride along in a rig at Windrock would be really, really cool. That's a really cool shot, like, because you can see the outside of the tire just kind of holding it up right there. Oh my god. It's just, again, I love rigs that really give you that realistic feel. Now, to be fair, I probably should have tried to go across a little bit more. There, there we go. Attempting to use this like what little bit of the sidewall I can mud runner isn't really big on using the sidewall of the tires for grip But when you you know when you have the opportunity to use it, it's not bad to give it a try And it is really relaxing at times to do some some realistic trail riding in some very true to life Rigs. I mean, this is a rig that you could see going down the highway on any given Monday, Tuesday, you know, any day of the week, really, because it's probably the same rig that takes the guy to work, you know? Easy does it. Winding around these trees here. I like how the trails incorporate a lot of curves, and that might seem like an odd thing to like, but... You often see trails where there aren't really many, like, back-to-back, -back, like, hairpin turns. And that's one thing about realistic trail riding that a lot of people don't realize is out there. Like, you're gonna make a lot of, you know, tight turns around trees and, 
You're gonna have to fit your vehicle in between, like, you know, one tree and another tree, or like a tree and a rock. Let's get you out the other side of that water. Easy does it, little Forerunner. Such a cool rig. I love when people take Forerunners of this generation and turn them into crawling rigs. I mean, it's so... It, it, I feel like it's almost an unloved platform in a lot of ways. And not necessarily unloved by Forerunner people. Of course, Forerunner people love them. But I feel like in the general off-roading community, I feel like a lot of people just, like, automatically gravitate to other rigs just because, like, these are not the obvious choice. But they can be really rewarding for the people that do choose them. Because they do have a lot of that rock-solid Toyota reliability. Now, granted, this one has been solid axle swapped in the front, which I would do it too. I mean, the IFS can only really get you so far, especially if you're trying to do crawling. So that's kind of one of those things where eventually you're gonna go to a you're gonna go to a solid axle coilover setup if you're really trying to go hardcore. But dude, I haven't even taken it out of automatic mode yet, and she's doing great. She's doing absolutely wonderfully. And you've got a couple of little, you know, a couple of little areas that are a little bit more on the challenging side, but nothing too crazy so far. Alright, I think I may go ahead and leave this rig right here. Because we went a decent ways in it. Now, now, we're going to jump into the prom queen willies. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Thanks for that. All right, we're back, and you guessed it, the game crashed. So, with that being said and done, uh, for those of you that haven't seen, let me just pop the hood on this thing real quick and reveal to you the ridiculous under-the-hood setup that this Jeep has. It has, ahem, a supercharger, as well as twin turbos, and a crap ton of piping, and really, and I think it's really cool that you could see the nice little Optima battery there to finish it off, as well as you can see the distributor there on, I, I think you can kind of see, yeah, you could sort of see it there on top, sort of, kind of, but with all of that being said and done and shown, um, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the hood down, and we're gonna head down the middle trail, now, the middle trail, I haven't really taken you guys down yet. I haven't really gone, it, gone, down, bleh, gone down it yet myself. But after having to deal with the, uh, well, actually, is that even a trail or is there just two main trails? Is this just something that looks like a trail and doesn't go anywhere? No, it's an actual trail. Never mind. It connects to the main one or it goes left. Love the rear mount rad, by the way. The rear mount rad is really, really cool. This guy, I'm just going to go ahead and throw in low three because it's definitely at its best when you do really, like, slow, deliberate crawling. Now, you can throw it in high and get that wheel speed going and use the power that this thing packs, but it's definitely a little bit more at home, like I said, um, when you're kind of crawling it around a little bit. Ease it down off of this little rock mound here. Not bad. You definitely can tell, though, after going from the Forerunner to this, that you're dealing with a much shorter wheelbase. Much, 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 much shorter. Whoa! All right. Well, this is the first, like, tricky-looking section that I've come across. I don't know if this is out of this thing's league or not. We'll see. Definitely not the easiest looking obstacle in the world, that's for sure. Let's see if we can aim it a little bit more to the left. Now a little bit back to the right. Now a little bit back to the left. Uh-oh. Come on, easy. It's not liking it. It's definitely not liking where we're putting it, that's for sure. Let's try something. Let's try something. Get that wheel speed up. Oh! That's gonna go badly! Yep, it did. Oh, nope, but we're gonna roll back down, so it's okay. Alright, I'm gonna try this one more time. Try to angle it a little bit more to the right. Tires hit first! 
So maybe hit it in high, bounce up like halfway, and then slam it into low three. Oh, that almost worked. It almost caught, but it didn't really, it didn't quite have it. I'm not going to give up on it yet, though. There's a chance. There's a chance. Oh, oh, God. Well, I did. Oh, 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 God. Well, you see, it could probably do it, but I kind of want to just try it in the pullout LJ. Are you kidding me? You going to crash now? You going to crash now? You going to crash now? Oh, my God, you're going to crash now. Bruh! Why? Okay, we're back, hopefully for the last time this time, and, well, at least the last time in this video, and we're going to try this one more time, and hopefully we're not going to roll backwards and, like, die in a fiery flaming ball of death. Fiery flaming ball of death would not be preferred. Oh! Oh, it hooked! It hooked. Oh! It's making moves! Come on! Come on, Jeep! Come on! That might be as much as she's gonna do in high, anyway. Oh, I'm trying to walk it. It is like, it's almost vertical right now. It doesn't look like it is, but if you look at it from that angle, oh my god, you could certainly tell it, it that it is. Don't you do it! No! Oh! And, well, backflip. But hey, it got really, really, really freaking close. All right, I'm going to try and recall one more time and see if it crashes the game or not. Nope, game crashed. Well, if y'all enjoyed this video, it, there has been enough game crashes for me on this map. I think it's just something to do with this, like, map slash vehicle combination that I have going on here. But if you all enjoyed this video, hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. And if you would like to see more, then make sure you tune in again. And I... See y'all in the next one. Talk to you guys later. I'm sorry there were so many um, there were so many cuts from the game crashing, but sometimes there's just nothing you could do about that. And I wish I got to like better show y'all the map. Um, but what we'll what we'll do is we'll probably come back to this map again in the future and do a little bit of just casual trailing in a different lineup of vehicles because this one apparently is a little bit crashy. So with that being said, hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.